Yo guys, so welcome to my YouTube. I thought for the first video, first proper video, we'll kick it off and I'll take a look at this DB Audio Extinct 12. A very beautiful sub. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. We're gonna run it through DATS and then at the end, I'm gonna run it free air and see how it performs. So yeah, let's get into it. So guys, I think the best way to kick off this video is just to discuss some brief specs of the woofer. So it's rated 1500 watts RMS, has a red die cast basket with a Kevlar woven non-pressed paper cone, has a three inch four layer voice coil, a triple stacked 300 ounce magnet, has a multi-layer Nomex spider, it's dual 2 ohm, so it can be wired to either 1 ohm or 4 ohm by itself. It's got an, a nice rubber gasket, a nice rubber boot, and yeah, it just looks really nice. But I think now the best thing to do is chuck it on the DATS and see how it performs with the numbers so you get a better idea. Right, so that's all the specs out of the way. So now we're going to use the Dayton DATS V3, grab some TS parameters, know a little bit more about this subwoofer, and then lastly, we'll free air it and see how it performs. So let's get into it. Right, so to get started, we need to wire up the subwoofer to the appropriate impedance. So I'm going to do four ohms because that's how I would normally use all of my drivers. So we hook up this to four ohms. I'm going to go negative from this voice coil to the positive of this one. And then we can hook up the DATS. So let me connect up the first lead and then I'll show you the rest. Right, so the sub is ready to connect the DATS. So now we're just going to connect up the cables and yeah, we'll do that right now. Pretty simple, USB, if I can untangle it. USB, plug it into your computer, and then you plug it into the back of the DATS. It's a little connector like that. Plug it in, and you should get a blue light indicating that it's on. Then you plug in your leads. These, these are cool little leads. They've got little alligator clips, so it makes it easier for connecting. So you just plug it into the right colors being red for positive and then black for negative and then once you've got your leads plugged in you just plug it into the subwoofer the same way you would an amplifier but before we get started we need to elevate this woofer because we can't cover the vents underneath while we do the test so let me do that right now Coincidentally, the DATS packing material came with these like foam protectors, but these make for great plimps to elevate the sub. So I just use these. So I'm gonna do that right now. So what I do is I just place the foam pads just so it's like where you think the magnet will sit with the vents being exposed and then I stand on my bottom sub <laughs> and I just lower it on as centre as possible. A bit more. Perfect. Just like that. Check and yeah, the vents are all exposed. So we're ready to go. So you can see there's a gap underneath so it can breathe still. So that should be absolutely fine. Right, so sub's ready to be tested before we do that we need to calibrate the dats so we need to do the impedance calibration so all you do is you just connect the crocodile clips to these little terminals at the side like that you go on the computer and you open up the dats software which is right here and you do impedance analyzer click on that and then we click on impedance calibration right so the DATS has a one kilogram 
resistor built in. So it's built in already into these. So um, that's convenient. So yeah, well, after we've got it connected, we short the leads out on there and then boom, it will do its correction here. Move up there, that's this correction. And then lastly, what we do is you grab your test leads Oh, that one. You grab your test leads and you short them out like that, just connect them like that. Then you go back up to the same thing, click impedance analyzer and test it calibration. This is similar for like multimeters when you do impedance, you gotta you null out the resistance of the test leads themselves so you don't get an inaccurate reading. So you just click that, I've already shorted them, press OK, and then it will do its correction. Yep, all done. And then we are ready to now measure the TS parameters of this sub, basic TS parameters for now until we do added mass. So now we just unclip the leads and you connect them up to the corresponding terminals on the sub. So we go positive there and then negative there. Right, so we now have everything plugged in. That's ready to go. It's elevated. It's got room to breathe. The DATS is plugged in. So we're now ready to perform its first free air parameters test. So we just go over to the software and click measure free air parameters. You're going to hear a little sweep from one hertz to 20,000 hertz. And it will give us a graph right here. So this is known as our basic TS parameters. To get the full TS parameters so we can see things like VAS, BL, QES, QTS, Q QMS, we have to add weight to the sub. So conveniently, we have already a calibrated weight, 1.1 kilogram. Where this sub is hella stiff, this is perfect, this works really well. So I just use a bit of white tack to stop it from resonating on top pop it on, tap in the um, weight on there. But before we do that, we need to get the piston diameter of the subwoofer. So I need to measure that first. So I just got like a little foldable ruler and I'm gonna measure it in millimeters. So what I do is, is I measure from the outside of the surround to the inside of the surround. So we'll go just like that make sure we're centered and we are around exactly 260 mil so we'll tap that in obviously the software accepts it in inches so you just do a conversion 260 millimeters in inches and then whether that gives me a conversion of I tap it in right so we know that this weighs 1100 kilogram as it says it on there 1.1 kilogram. We know the weight of this, but in order to secure this to the dust cap of the woofer, we're gonna have to use some white tack. So I'm gonna break off some white tack and I'm gonna need to weigh it as well because I'm gonna be adding it to the overall mass on top of the woofer. So let me weigh this and then I'll add it to the weight of this. So we just grab a piece of white tack and then we just add that little five gram to the total of that. So this being 1,105 grams. So now all we do is, if we just place the white tack on the raised parts. So we'll do it like there. And then another bit like here. And then we just grab the weight, place it in the center, like that. Not too much force, you don't wanna break your dust cap. Just so it's enough to hold. And yeah, that looks about right. That's perfect. So we've got the weight added to the sub. We're now ready to perform the added mass method. We've got all our numbers inputted there. So now we click measure VAS. It says add the mass to the driver and click OK. We have done so. So we click OK. 
and there we go, it's given us our VAS. So to get the extended TS parameters, we just open edit, open driver editor, and everything's right there. So we've got a BL of 32 and a VAS of 26 liters, which is just under a cubic foot. So yeah, we've got an FS of 28.498. So it's a very soft sub for what it is. So anyway, I've shown you how to perform DATS. Let's chuck this thing on the crown and let's play some music and see how this thing performs freer. So now we just remove the weight, remove the bits of white tack. Perfect, and you see there's no damage left on the dust cap. So now I'm just gonna disconnect the DATS. We can leave the yellow wire connected because four rooms is still what my crown needs. So now I'm going to place this on my bed, on a pillow, and connect up the crown. Let's remove the gasket and let's get a bit more of a show. Right, so guys, that wraps up the end of this video. If you liked it, tell me what you liked. If you disliked it, tell me what you didn't like about it. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to record these types of videos for you guys. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.